this is uh, my display tank. It's about 150 gallons. And I have some veil tails. Um, these are two big Foster Ryukin veils. Uh, there's one of them. Just massive. And then I have a bunch of uh, Aranda veils. Here's one, one of the nicer ones. And this one here has a broken iris on the eye, so I'm hoping to uh, try to get the uh, a blue belly jean Aranda with a, with a broad tail as well. And this is the second foster foster uh, veil that I have right here. Two big ones. So there's the other one right here in the back. And here another one right here forward. Uh, these fish are pretty darn big. I, the bodies are as big as my fist. And there's a uh, a veil tail with a little bit of, I don't know if I want to say head growth, but definitely not a really pointed head. So I will be using that one with the uh, the male with a, a broken iris. Another Oranda veil. And the white one in the back with the red markings. Another, I believe that one's got some Oranda in it. Um, these fish came out of Chinese fish, uh, and I bought some uh, broad tail orandas as well as some uh, fringe tail veils. Foster Veils, I believe, were uh, Foster's fillies, and he took them to our Ryukin. So, I have some Chinese Veils in here as well, uh, the orange one there. They um, have tremendous humps. The only thing is that whenever the electricity goes off, uh, and if the water quality is not up to snuff, they seem to uh, to die. They're 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 strong, but uh, when adversity hits, they seem to get um, hit the hardest and and not make it. Here's another uncolored one. There's my blue belly veil with a not so pointed head. So uh, see what I can do with uh, adding that into the Orandas. Uh, some of those Ryukin veils in the back. Here's one that uh, went all white. A little easier to see. But I really do uh, enjoy looking at my Aranda veils, hopefully to improve them. Um, of course, I'd love to put the uh, English line into them for the nice straight tails. But uh, I think I will go one more generation, um, just try to stabilize that head a little better. Where I throw the uh, 
the English uh, veil into it. Because then I'll probably lose a little bit of the head for a generation or two. However, I notice on two to three year old English veils, uh, a little bit of head growth starts coming out. So I think some, uh, there is some uh, Aranda behind them somewhere. Of course, we've seen that uh, Derek Mills has uh, some of his adults with uh, uh, substantial head growth that he posted in the uh, uh, the UK periodical. So we see this uh, clumsy white one with red markings, super broad tail, but uh, typical somersault swimmer. Guess she's sleepy already. So these Aranda veils are pure uh, Chinese fish. Um, however, they had uh, both uh, Ryukin veil in them as well as uh, Aranda. I only had um, male Arandas. I think I ordered a good eight, ten of them from Tommy Hui. I got all males, which I thought was kind of bizarre. Good thing he sent me a couple females that were uh, veil tails, uh, Ryukin in type. So at least I got, uh, I think they were all kind of mixed in anyway. <laughs> 